Having been authorized by the church to install Amy Welchley, our co-worker in the gospel, as lead pastor, I now ask for certification of this call. You have been called to be among us to baptize, to oh, teach, oh. and to forgive sins. That's, that's, yeah. that's later. Oh. 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 <laughs> Start at the beginning. It's the prayerful it. deliberation, <laughs> we at Trinity Lutheran Church have called Amy as lead pastor. I present in this letter certifying the call. Thank you. A reading from John. Jesus said, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. And a reading from Matthew. Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. And a reading from 1 Timothy. Set the believers an example in speech and conduct, in love, in faith, in purity, Attend to the public reading of scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you through prophecy with the laying on of hands by the council of elders. Put these things into practice. Devote yourself to them so that all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Amy. In the presence of this assembly, will you commit yourself to this new trust and responsibility in the confidence that it comes from God through the call of the church? If so, answer, I will, and I ask God to help me. I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and the confessions of the Lutheran Church? Will you carry out this ministry in harmony with the constitutions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America? If so, answer, I will, and I ask God to help me. I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you be diligent in your study of the Holy Scriptures and in your use of the means of grace? Will you love, serve, and pray for God's people, nourish them with the word and sacraments, and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? If so, answer, I will, and I ask God to help me. I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you give faithful witness in the world that God's love may be known in all that you do? If so, answer, I will, and I ask God to help me. I will, and I ask God to help me. Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform them. Amen. Amen. I invite you, as you are able, to please stand. People of God, will you receive Amy as a messenger of Jesus Christ, sent to serve all people with the gospel of hope and salvation? If so, answer, we will, and we ask God to help us. Will you pray for her, help and honor her for her work's sake, and in all things strive to live together in, in the peace and unity of Christ? If so, answer, we will, and we ask God to help us. Amy, the office of lead pastor is now committed to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. If you want to kneel for the blessing. Yeah. <clears throat> the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do God's will, working in you that which is pleasing in God's sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Now we'll go. Here. You have been called to be among us to baptize, to teach, and to forgive
It gives me great pleasure to introduce you again to your new lead pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. You may be seated. I, um, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support and assistance. Um, it means the world to me and my family. You know, when we came here three years ago, we would never have guessed that this is where we would all be. Um, that's not why we came in the first place. Uh, but, you know, the call here for me is not done, and that's what I know for sure. So it is really a privilege to stand here as your pastor and to know that we are continuing together in where God is calling us next. And so as people of faith, we'll do what, you know, we're called to do, which is to pray. So, Nate. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Sustained and nurtured by our generous God, we gather as one to pray for the church, the world, and all of God's creation. Bless pastors, deacons, council members, and all church leaders in their ministries so that your gospel is shared through their faithful leadership and living. Lord, in your mercy. Restore balance to the earth and to our hearts for it. Bless laborers in the fields, farmers who harvest, those recovering from wildfires and hurricanes. Lord, in your mercy. Instill in all governments a heart for your justice and mercy. Lead us away from the idols of power, war, self-centeredness, and fear. Lord, in your mercy. You show mercy to the lost, welcome the outsider, and comfort the dying. We lift before you all who seek your healing in body, mind, and spirit, especially Marcia, Sandy, Jean, Vern, Andrew, Linda, Isaiah, Betty, Kim, Renee, Bob, Dan, Jeremy, Ruth, Mary, Tyler, Diane, Karen, Donna, Lori, and all we name before you now. Lord, in your mercy. Strengthen those who work with people in crisis, firefighters, police officers, hospital staff, chaplains, nurses, doctors, emergency responders, staff and counselors in rehab centers and women's shelters. Give them wisdom and compassion so that those in need are well supported and cared for. Lord, in your mercy. Assured by your promise to hear us, we lay our prayers before your throne of grace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Peace of Christ be with you always. Please share a sign of Christ's peace with one another. <laughs> 